The cellar spider is an arachnid from the family Fulcidae, which contains over 1,800 species. The term arachnid is often associated with spiders, but the class Arachnida also includes scorpions, ticks, mites, solifuges, and harvestmen. Because they're found on every continent except Antarctica, the cellar spider goes by many names. They enjoy secluded places, most frequently the corners and basements of human homes. In North America, they are often referred to as the daddy longlegs, a name they share with the crane fly and the harvestman. Their other names include the skull spider, carpenter spider, and vibrating spider. Wolf spiders, jumping spiders, and net casting spiders have amazing eyesight. Cellar spiders, on the other hand, aren't them. They seldom hunt and make most of their movements during the night, so although they have eight eyes in total, their vision is limited to seeing only light and dark. However, what they lack in eyesight, they make up for with their senses of touch, smell, and taste. They taste and smell with hollow hairs at the tips of their legs and pedipalps. The ability to pick up vibrations is crucial for any spider. Vibrations, air currents, and electrical charges are felt by tiny hairs along their legs called trichobothria and can alert a spider to threats, food, and potential mates. Spiders can tell what kind of animal they've captured by the vibrations they create. Since sellers rely on their webs to catch prey, it's important for courting males to send specific vibrations through a female's web before approaching her. You can tell the adult males apart from females by their enlarged pedipalps. Juvenile males and females use these for handling food, while adult males use them for breeding. Breeding generally takes place between June and September. Similar to nursery web spiders, female cellar spiders carry their egg sac by mouth and may travel for weeks looking for a safe place to stay. During this time, the mother does not eat. Once she's settled in an out-of-the-way place, she'll lay down webbing in preparation for her new brood. Within a month or so, she'll begin helping her children emerge by removing the thin layer of webbing holding the egg sac together. The long-bodied cellar spider can produce three egg sacs in her lifetime, each containing 13 to 60 spiderlings, which will remain close to their mother for the next few weeks. Young spiders set up their own webs quickly and can be seen in close proximity to one another. The marking of an established home is the presence of dead invertebrates, such as ants and isopods. Their web looks haphazard, as they continuously add layers in the hope of tangling passing prey. From a young age, they're opportunistic, tackling prey much larger than themselves. Having delicate bodies doesn't stop them from being efficient spider killers, and they've been seen rattling the webs of other spiders to lure them out. Spiders can go for weeks to months without food, their main requirement being water or some kind of moisture to aid in their growth. It'll take one year for these hatchlings to fully mature, shedding their skin five or six times in the process. Once they've reached full size, they can live for an additional two years. As a way to ward off predators, the name vibrating spider comes from the rapid side-to-side -side movements of the cellar when disturbed. The motion blurs the spider and makes it more difficult to strike. In general, a spider wants to be left alone. Spiders are non-aggressive and will only bite if they're being crushed or harassed. Although a cellar spider can bite, the chances are extremely low. They have no desire to touch you, and if one does come in contact with you, then it's likely by accident.